With me now is Axel Merck, manager of the Merck Funds. Axel, thanks for being with me. Great to be with you. So Axel, last time we saw each other was at Freedom Fest back in July. And I remember you were telling me how you had 50% of your holdings in gold and felt comfortable with that more than in equities. Has that changed? Well, what has changed is I'm ever more spooked about my equity holdings. And the reason I'm spooked about them is because of complacency in the market. When volatility goes down and prices go up, you have money chasing equities that shouldn't be there. And at the same time, obviously, people don't like gold right now. And I love that. Um, that means it's not as expensive as it used to be. I like gold long term. And by all means, I sleep much more comfortable with my gold holding than my equity holdings. Okay. So the, these, these price, the price volatility that we're seeing in gold doesn't scare you right now? No, by all means, because it, it shakes out the weekends. And if anything, it allows me to, to add something to gold. I haven't done that of late because I'm comfortable with the holdings that I have. Uh, but when, when gold historically is about as volatile, volatile as the equity markets is, and right now gold is much more volatile. That means there's more complacency in the S&P than there is in gold. And, and that's a good thing uh, just on a technical basis. Uh, um, Axel, you also said that asset, asset prices were not reflecting, reflecting the fundamentals uh, correctly uh, and gold should be much higher. Do you still stand by that? Well, sure. The reason why I say asset prices don't reflect fundamentals is because the Federal Reserve is, 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 is actively engaged in the markets. And right now we're at a stage where we have a lame duck Fed share. We don't really have the new Fed share in there yet. And so we can't really price anything in that environment. Um, and, 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 and gold ultimately will do well once we get economic growth, because then it will become apparent that we cannot afford positive real rates. And so we're in this environment right now where um, the folks who bought it because of the crisis in the Eurozone are out. The folks who think there's inflation, they're not quite yet in gold. And so it's a nice environment where you can accumulate some gold. Axel, uh, where do you think gold is headed from here now for within the next six months? Well, um, predictions are difficult when they relate to the future, but um, you had a lot of leverage in gold because 12, gold went up for 12 years in a row. And so clearly, even as gold recovers, there will be those that as they break even, they'll go out. So it's going to take a while for gold to come back. But at the same time, I wouldn't be surprised to see gold at 1500 a year from now. All right. And Axel, you mentioned the Fed before and offline. We were saying how you actually think that the, the tune and tone might change a bit with Yellen come in, coming in. Can you explain? Well, because Bernanke uh, had all these different programs and ended up with an employment target. Now, Janet Yellen starts with an unemployment target, and she has a very different mindset. One of the things she says is, we'll go back to a normal Fed policy once the economy is back to normal. Well, that's impossible, because you cannot price risk properly if you flood the market with liquidity. So we'll continue to be in this environment. Janet Yellen is going to be very willing to try to fix fiscal problems with monetary policy. So the nuances are changed. Bernanke always lived in the Great Depression. And and Janet Yellen thinks she's very modern and is going to meddle with the markets in very different ways. Finally, Axel, I've been asking my guests this $10,000 question. If I were to give you $10,000, how would it be divided ideally for you right now? Well, the question is what you need to do with this 10000 down the road, of course. And 10000 is a good deal of money if you just buy where you see there's value. And by all means, I wouldn't put it into bonds. I wouldn't put it into to, um, equities. As you know, I deal a lot in the currency markets as well. But I'd have a very good chunk in gold. And otherwise, you have to actively manage your risk. There is no risk-free place to be. Um, even gold, when you have your expenses in, in dollars, is not risk-free in that, in, from that point of view. Axel, thanks so much for your thoughts today. I hope to see you soon. My pleasure. And thanks for watching our coverage here from the Metals and Minerals show in San Francisco. We'll have more for you. In the meantime, you can email me comments and questions at newsfeedback.kitco.com or follow me on Twitter at Dingala Thanks for watching.